welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Kian, and you are watching Kian by Design. And today I'm bringing you another DIY home decor video. This time I'm going to be duplicating some high-end pieces that I found online. And let me tell you, I'm so pleased with how these pieces turned out. These are probably some of my favorite projects I've ever done, and I hope that you guys enjoy it too. Before we get into the tutorial, a quick reminder to hit that subscribe button down below and ring the notification bell so you never miss when I post a new DIY video. I do them pretty often, so you'll always have new content in your subscription box. But without further ado, let's get into the projects. Now the first piece that I'll be recreating today is this crescent moon mirror from MercadoCollectiveStyle.com. I came across it while scrolling through Pinterest one day and fell absolutely in love with it. It comes in two sizes. The one I'm going to be recreating today is going to be closer to the smaller size, but the smaller size still runs for about $275, which is just a little bit out of my price range, but today I'll be recreating it for a lot less. So let's get started. For my first project, I'm going to be using a 14 inch round craft mirror, dollar store caulking, a foam brush, dollar store marbles, and rubber gloves. To give my moon the crescent shape, I'm going to be taking this metal hoop that I had in my stash and using it as a stencil. I will be taking a dry erase marker and tracing that crescent shape onto my mirror and then taping off the other side. And once that's all taped off, you're going to take your dollar store caulking and cut it open. Put on your rubber gloves and squeeze the caulking onto the mirror as much as you can and then start spreading it around with your gloves. You want to get a nice thick even layer all across the crescent moon shape, applying extra if needed. Now this caulking spreads a lot like frosting, so I'm going to actually take a baking spatula to help smooth out the surface of my crescent moon before taking a piece of my foam brush and stippling it on the mirror to create the texture of the moon's surface. Peeling off that tape, I'm then going to clean off the mirror and go back in with my sponge to give it that nice blended out look on the edge that the original piece had. To create the craters, I'm going to be using these dollar store marbles and lightly spraying them with some cooking spray to keep them from sticking to the caulking. I lightly rolled the marble around in a circular motion and pulled it up, leaving a crater. To create different size craters, I used this magnetic marble and these pearl adhesive stickers, which I just pressed into the surface of the caulking with my finger. Now to cover up any blemishes, I'm going to take some caulking on the tip of my finger and just smooth out those imperfections. Set it aside to let the caulking completely cure, and the final result is an out-of-this-world crescent moon mirror. For this next DIY, I got inspired by scrolling through the Pottery Barn website, and I came across this gorgeous iridescent table lamp on the Pottery Barn team page. And if you guys don't know, I am a big lover of all things iridescent and holographic. The other day, I actually rounded up every holographic and iridescent thing in my house and took a picture of it all. So the obsession runs deep. Now this lamp is absolutely gorgeous, but it's still about $149. And originally, I was just gonna create something that was inspired by it, but then I found this acrylic tissue box at the thrift store, and it was the exact same shape as the lamp that I was trying to recreate. So let's Let's see how I did. Moving on to this Pottery Barn Teen inspired lamp, I'm going to be using a lighting kit, this acrylic tissue box I found at the thrift store, some scrap wood, this iridescent vinyl, and my drill. The hole in the top of this tissue box was too wide for my lamp kit, so I'm going to be gluing this piece of scrap wood that I cut down to an oval with some E6000 and hot glue. Then taking the circular drill bit, I was very unsafely drilling a hole into this piece of wood. Do as I say, not as I do. And I drilled a hole big enough to run my entire lamp kit through. To give the bulb some height and stability, I'm taking this rubber cap that I found, I cut it down the side and left a hole in the middle so that I can put it around the light cord. Now taking my iridescent vinyl, I'm going to wrap it all the way around the acrylic tissue box to make sure that I have enough to cover it, and cutting myself some excess just to be safe. Now little by little, I'm going to peel the backing off of the vinyl and smooth it over with a credit card or a gift card. This will just help to get it to stay extra flat against the surface of the piece, and also to work out any of the air bubbles that may form. Once I've gone around the entire piece, I'm just going to make some slits on all of the corners of the tissue box and fold the excess vinyl in. I'll also be doing the same thing along the top edges just to make sure that everything is nice and flat. To cover the top, I'm going to be turning my box upside down onto this iridescent vinyl and tracing the outline of the box before cutting it out and making sure to leave myself some excess. Then I'll once again peel back the vinyl little by little and start smoothing it over with my gift card until I cover the entire top of the box. Then I'm just taking my scissors and trimming off any of the excess and making more slits on those geometric corners. To make all of my cuts look nice and seamless, I'm going to go around the tissue box again with my X-Acto knife, using the straight lines of the box's design as a guide. Now in applying the vinyl, I was left with some air bubbles, but this is a really easy fix. All you're going to do is take an X-Acto knife and lightly poke a small pinhole in the bubbles and take your card and start trying to smooth it out. 
This will allow the air to escape through that tiny hole and smooth out those bubbles. I then turned the tissue box upside down and used my X-Acto knife to cut a hole in the top of the vinyl from the bottom. I'll also be using the rubber cap as a template to cut out a hole in the top, making sure it fits nicely. Now I'll just feed my light kit through the hole and wrap that rubber cap around the base of my light before securing it in place with hot glue. To allow my lamp to sit flat without the cord getting in the way, I'm going to be taking a drill bit the same thickness as my cord and carefully drilling two connecting holes into the acrylic tissue box. This will give our cord somewhere to go without disrupting the bottom of the lamp. Pull that lamp kit taut so the lamp stands up nice and straight. Now all that's left to do is to add a light bulb and your lampshade and your Pottery Barn Teen inspired iridescent lamp is complete. You guys will have to let me know down in the comments below which of these pieces that I recreated today was your favorite. I honestly can't choose. That crescent moon mirror is beautiful. That lamp looks so much like the original. I just, I can't get over it. I'm really proud of how these turned out. If you liked this DIY video, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and ring the notification bell so you never miss when I post a new DIY video. And follow me on all of my social media. I will put the links down in the description. But that about does it for today. This has been Key In By Design and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Thank you.